This trip changed my life and I didn't know it at that time. What was supposed to be an adventure of ramen, an explosion of flavours, a culinary galore, I think you know where I'm going with this, sakuras, immersing in nature and finding a beautiful intersection where action thrives your history, in the city that was meant to be explored, lost in, found again, I came across the love of my life. While he's not pictured here, but we spent most of the waking hours in the days I was in Tokyo together. When we started getting to know each other at the point, I didn't think he would have meant much to me. It almost seemed like we were just strangers with a similar curiosity about Japan and we just happened to cross paths during our time there. I've never been one to follow the hype and you know I've never really understood why Singaporeans were always so obsessed with Japan and I think he showed me why during this trip. Funny right? Two tourists showing each other a country unknown to even us. He knew the best spots though, I mean look at this view paddling boats while being surrounded by cherry blossoms, he always knew where to go for cherry blossoms and had spots on his list so we'd never run out of ideas. After the boat ride, we walked past the shrine on the way to a popular coffee chain and it was then that we decided to date long distance. There it was lying ahead of me, one of the biggest challenges I've had in dating. LDR was something my friends would tell me to avoid for life. It only brings heartache, pain and suffering. So dramatic, right? But they weren't wrong. As much as we communicated, we still fought over smaller issues during our time apart. But when the nights were wonderful, we spoke like lovers all night long. Anyway, we arrived back in Tokyo a year later to watch spring come to life and there was something different in the air this time. We explored the city a year later like lovebirds flitting about the same branch of roses. We were more than familiar this time with what to expect and what to not miss while we were there and moved about like experienced players in an arcade. Being in this relationship the past year taught me so much about myself and how I viewed love. Now, love is the embodiment of an overflowing cup of experiences, wisdom, patience and kindness and has shaped the way I treat everyone around me. He taught me to love again and to love so hard that I would fight for it. Fight sleep, fight to make time and fight the distance between us. In just a year, he had brought me so much joy to my life, it's almost inexplicable. He supported me when I was feeling my absolute lowest in my supposed dream job, and he was a partner that believed so dearly in me and rooted for me even more than I did for myself. A partner that picked me up when the world felt so cold and when my heart was in a colder place than it was, and I had so much resentment towards the universe. It was a beautiful spring day during our first year anniversary on April 2nd, and the cherry blossoms seemed to have bloomed even though this year's forecast was supposedly delayed. We took a boat ride at around 12pm in the afternoon, and this time we chose a longer session because we didn't get to row that much the previous year. We then walked a similar route after the boat towards the coffee chain that we made things official last year. We entered the same shrine that we walked past a year ago, and there it was, when he asked me the most important question in any relationship. How could I say no?